Hi everyone. I thought I'd just make a short uh, demo video before my web page goes live. Uh, this is uh, the euro uh, dollar pair and we see a nice breakout upwards like a 40 point, 45 point breakout which has come to a consolidation pattern. Okay, uh, I'm going to do a short market analysis as well just for you to see what's been going on and, and uh, how to really prepare for a uh, trade like this. And we're just going to be waiting for a setup, a breakout out of this consolidation. Now let's take a look at what the market's been doing in the last couple of days. Uh, for that, let's go through the hourly chart. Okay, click it here. Okay, what we see is that the market has been in a strong uptrend the last three days. How do we know that? Okay, that's here a bar. This is a bar chart, and each bar represents one hour, which means that up till here is roughly 24 bars, which makes it a day. So the last three days, uh, for the first uh, 48 hours, the market's been going steadily up, and uh, the last 24 hours, it has come to a strong resistance level. Okay, now let's uh, look at the same market. Uh, this just like uh, uh, bottom of the uh, uh, retracement. Okay, let's uh, look at the five minute chart right now. Okay, that's a close up of what we just saw at the very end of the last couple of hours, let's say, because now each bar represents uh, five minutes. Okay, so let's see. I have, uh, roughly four or five hours we're talking about. You can see right here that the the market is moving just a couple of points. Okay, uh, there's not much happening at the moment. So let me just show you again after a strong two-day run and a retrace, uh, the market formed higher highs and here it uh, shoots up and reaches a point of resistance. And I'm just going to draw you a uh, couple of lines to, to show you this uh, consolidation right here. Okay, that's one line right there and the other from here. Uh, this pattern is called a symmetrical triangle uh, and uh, price is going to break out of this either direction. Okay, uh, most analysts uh, don't expect uh, the price to go up from this point because it's a very strong resistance. So we are preparing for a short trade right now. But before uh, uh, we uh, reach that point, uh, just want to bring up a couple of uh, uh, indicators. Uh, just uh, stop the video for that now for a second while I bring up my indicators. Okay, here we are. I've got all the indicators uh, that I need just now. I'm not going to explain to you what they are and how they work because uh, it will take ages. The most important thing is this R1 up there that I'm showing right now. R1 level 137605. That's the uh, pivot resistance uh, level. Uh, brokers uh, pivot resistance, uh, which the market is very unlikely to breach this time. Uh, we see the uh, consolidation, the symmetrical triangle. The price has just uh, broke out uh, towards the resistance line and likely going to turn back. Let's change the view here. That's five minutes or a shorter time frame. Let's see. Okay, let's put it to two minutes. And here we are. Uh, okay. We 
we see a uh, the active bar right there, the red one. Uh, the price has already uh, uh, come uh, back away from uh, the resistance after we touched it twice. We see a big green uh, rejection uh, bar. Uh, one, two, three, four, fifth bar from uh, the active bar to the left. We see that it uh, has uh, breached the uh, resistance level shortly, then uh, a couple of bars later it touched it again and price is coming down from that point onwards. Okay, I would have uh, bought uh, or actually uh, sold the uh, uh, euro at this point when it uh, touched the uh, resistance for the second time. and. I uh, would have put my stop one point away uh, upwards, like 37.606, uh, because uh, uh, the indicator is showing weakness, and that's what really happened. It's just a demo, demo trade. I'm not buying the, uh, not shorting the, the market now. Okay, as we see, it's already reached 13.703. And the target would be 602 to make the trade uh, uh, worthwhile to make. Uh, there is a one point risk and three point reward, and we just need to wait for the market to reach that level. By the time the charting software I'm using to record this trade is pro real time, I've just brought it up here. And you can find it at prorealtime.com. Okay, there we are. 13,602. And we are expecting uh, to uh, get down to 13,602, uh, at which level we can terminate the contract. Uh, not uh, going to actually terminate the contract because it's just uh, uh, a demo trade. Uh, here we see a previous uh, resistance level. Uh, that's why it's uh, likely that the market will not uh, go beyond that. So once hitting our target, and here we go, it's just hit it. Uh, we can get out of the trade. Okay, there you go. And we can conclude that the uh, uh, three points that we've made is enough profit uh, to uh, finish up the trade. Thank you for your attention.